Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with I suppose what's going to be my first book 4 news update video. Going to have to make a new playlist uh, on my channel for this because book 3 is over and even though you know I still have some coverage to do, there's still obviously the aftermath of book 3 and stuff like that to discuss. Really any news we're talking about now is going to be about book 4 going forward and um, uh, as of this video we do have our first little news, news about book 4 so um, yeah, I'll just start off with the book four news, and that is that um, IGN had an interview with uh, Mike and Brian, and in that interview, uh, the interviewer asked a few questions about book four. Mike and Brian couldn't really say much. They say they're keeping it under wraps, at least for now, so we probably will have to wait until New York Comic Con or something like that for <clears throat> like big news about book four. But what they did say is just, uh, they fully confirmed just what we've heard for a while now, and that is that each book of Korra will have its own villain. Book 4 has its own villain that Korra is going to face, and they're keeping the villain under wraps for now. They, they didn't want to say anything about it, so that's nice, that's nice to know. The only other thing they just mentioned was that um, the airbenders are going to be this kind of Jedi-like peacekeeping force in the world now. And that, that, that's just a pretty cool comparison, just comparing them to the Jedi, and it's going to be cool to see how exactly they implement that. They talk about other stuff, but it's mainly just their thoughts on the finale, not so much going into Book 4. But um, still, it's nice to get some form of an update on Book 4. They didn't say, like, um, when it's coming or anything like that. Uh, I assume they're just not ready to talk fully about it just yet, so um, that's that. Uh, so that's, that's a, all the book four news we have. But the main reason IGN had this interview with them was about the video game, because they also got to interview the producer as well, and through this interview we got the release date for the game and some information on the pro-bending uh, kind of bonus game within the core video game, so uh, yeah core video game on uh, PSN, PlayStation Network, and also Steam uh, is coming out October 21st. So that's, uh, obviously, if you have a PS3, PS4, or, you know, a PC, they're going to play games. That's, you're going to get the game on October 21st. Uh, the game is going to be on Xbox Live, so for Xbox 360 and Xbox One on October 22nd, so... I'm getting it for Xbox 360, and so that's when it's out. No mention whatsoever at all about the uh, 3DS game, so we really don't know what's going on with that. But it's just nice to know that that's when the game is coming out. It's still roughly two months away, but uh, it's nice to have a date now. I know that it's not the very end of uh, fall, and that it is October, so that's... That's pretty good. So that's fine. Uh, again, it's a downloadable game. It's going to be fourteen ninety nine, uh, and that's basically all. I think most people by now know what the overall game is. But the only other thing they went into detail here about was that this was the first time they talked about the pro bending uh, mini game, which the producer revealed. You unlock this game when you finish um, when you finish the story mode, basically for the first time. And then you can play this kind of a bonus game, which is pro bending. And didn't go too much into detail about like what exactly um, how it works. Is it literally just you know you play one match and that's it, or is there like a tournament mode or what? Or is the opponent you're paired up against random? But he just kind of explained kind of the details of how it works and that um, you do play as Korra. You have to be on the fire ferrets, uh, Makumbole, and all your teammates. And you just play play a match, and it plays out the f basically identically to how we know the game works from the show and so on. The rules are the same, and yeah, it looks it, it looks really cool. And the idea is just that you control Korra, you run around the zone that you're in, and you fire water at people. And you, you this seems like there's a targeting system. The people you're attacking, you can switch targeting, you know, so you don't have to just target the water bending opponent, you can target any of them. And they have a health bar that kind of goes down as you hit them. And then if you get it like a solid hit on them, it knocks them back. And then if your health bar is down very low, it knocks them back even further. And then he also said that uh, to make the game not so kind of uh, one-sided, completely domin dominating, basically, if you're winning, 
your attacks do more damage if you're in a f zone that's further back. So if you're defending the final zone, your attacks do more damage, so you're able to kind of uh, defend out of that. And um, there are the one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, matches as well, if a uh, round ends in a the tie. There, there's nothing overly different about them, it's just super close up, so obviously your attacks do a ton of damage. Um, a little bit disappointed that they didn't impl implement any like new control system for like um, to get the kind of wrestling aspect of it into play and that they're allowed to kind of grapple if they want to like Bolin did but um, it still it overall looks really cool as just like what's effectively like a mini game in this downloadable game it seems like they put a lot of effort into this to make it work um, right now kind of just like it's going to be fun but I think a lot of people are going to see a lot of potential in like making that a multiplayer game, uh, adding customization and stuff like that to it. Right now, it's like a little bit limited if you can only play as Korra only on the Fire Fair. It's only, you know, all of these limitations. But the game itself looks really cool. Um, I'm going to show you some quick screenshots now just to kind of explain kind of roughly what I'm talking about. Um, So yeah, as you can see, um, it's the same kind of graphic style as the rest of the game, but obviously pro bending, a uh, different camera angle, and just overall you can see it uh, looks pretty action packed, uh, really looking forward to playing that as well, um, and seeing if pro bending plays any sort of a role in the story. But uh, yeah, game's out October 21st and 22nd, depending on what uh, platform you're getting it on, we don't know anything about the 3DS version, but uh, Hopefully we'll find something out about that before the end of the year, um, because I, I'm hoping the game's out before the end of the year. Um, doesn't give me a lot of hope for the game though, even though I, from what I hear a lot of people say the developer is quite good, Webfoot Technologies, and overall the game, the style of game that the 3DS game is was said to be, is a type of game that I like, but whether or not they'll actually like put a lot of attention on that version of the game, I'm not sure. But uh, final piece of news is that uh, just before the finale of Book 3 came out we got the Dark Horse solicitations for November and on it we got two avatar things. Uh, first one just quickly get out of the way was the Book 3 change art book. We've heard about that before, I've covered it on my channel. The book is out in, in January, um, and that's really all there is to say about it. Um, the book three change art book out in January a lot sooner than previous books because obviously scheduling wasn't behind like it was for book two, but that makes sense. Um, and yeah, the other thing is more interesting, and that is the Naga plushie that we saw revealed at SDCC. It said it was coming out in November this year. And obviously, November solicitations, we got the full date here. Uh, the plushie is out uh, November 12th uh, this year, obviously, uh, in comic book stores. And it's going to retail for $34.99. And here is the kind of uh, official imagery that's revealed in the solicitations for it. So as you can see, it looks really, really cool. And like, like the pictures we saw from Comic-Con, um, definitely the most detailed Naga plush that we've seen so far and you know it's one of those things where like I'm not going to go out of my way to like uh, like order this online and make sure I get it but if my comic store my local comic book store is like getting this in as just part of their kind of default order for whatever that that week I may just let you know pick it up just uh, because it, it does look really kind of detailed and potentially will be like one of the better representations of Naga that we get coming out so that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully, they in the next solicitate next few solicitations we get a reveal about the Ang statue and see how much that costs and so on. Um, Thirty four ninety nine for this plushie. Definitely, it's like seems to be like a deluxe collector orientated line just with that price for you know an eleven inch tall plush. Um, but we'll see what happens uh, coming up. Uh, just the final thing to mention is just that on September 3rd, which is a Wednesday, not not tomorrow, but next Wednesday, 
that's September 3rd. Uh, the Book 2 Spirit art book comes out. Um, people at Comic Con managed to get this early, but this is the official release date for the book. I will be getting a copy of this, this book on Wednesday, assuming obviously my local store has it, but I'll make sure I I'm, I'm going to try as best as possible to get this book on Wednesday and put a review up on my channel. So I'll definitely have some coverage of this book, hopefully day of release. Uh, so definitely check my channel out for that. Um, as I said in my vlog uh, a few videos ago, uh, I have a lot of other stuff coming up. Uh, but for now I'm just kind of focused on like getting the last few bits of like book 3 coverage done. I still have to do written reviews for the finale episode and a podcast for the very last episode, Venom of the Red Lotus, so I'll definitely keep you informed about when all that stuff goes up, but uh, that's been this news video, thanks for watching, and bye.